talk about Elasticsearch. My name is Ronak Vyas and this video is a collaboration with Programming Knowledge. To watch more videos on Elasticsearch and programming, do subscribe to the channel. So, what is Elasticsearch? Elasticsearch is a distributed open source search and analytics engine for all types of data including textual, numerical, geospatial, structured and unstructured data. Elasticsearch is built on Apache Lucene and was first released in 2010. Elasticsearch is the central component of the Elastic Stack, a set of open source tools for data ingestion, enrichment, storage, analysis and visualization. It is known for its simple REST APIs, distributed nature, speed and scalability. It is commonly referred to as the ELK stack, which includes Elasticsearch, Logstash and Kibana. We'll talk about Logstash and Kibana later. Let's actually see what Elasticsearch means in very simple terms. So, Elasticsearch is a database that stores, retrieves and manages document-oriented and semi-structured data. When you use Elasticsearch, you store data in JSON document form, then you query them for retrieval. So basically, Elasticsearch is just a database. So let's see why we need to use Elasticsearch. Products that involve e-commerce and search engines with huge databases are facing issues, including product information retrieval, taking too long. This leads to poor user experience and in turn, turns off potential customers. There is also a lag in search is attributed to the relational database used for the product design where the data is scattered among multiple tables and a successful retrieval of meaningful user information requires fetching the data from these tables. Now, the relational database works comparatively slowly when it comes to used data and fetching search results through database queries. Understandably, businesses nowadays are looking for data storage alternatives in the hope of promoting quick retrieval. This can be achieved by adopting NoSQL rather than RDBMS or Relative Database Management System, sorry, Relational Database Management System for storing data. Elasticsearch is one such NoSQL distributed database. The speed and scalability of Elasticsearch and its ability to index many types of content mean that it can be used for many cases. Some of them are application search, website search, enterprise search, logging and data analytics, business analytics, and much more. So how does Elasticsearch work? So raw data flows into Elasticsearch from a variety of resources, including logs, systems, metrics, and web applications. Data ingestion is the process by which this raw data is parsed, normalized, and enriched before it is indexed in Elasticsearch. Once indexed in Elasticsearch, users can run complex queries against the data and use aggregations to retrieve complex summaries of their data. From Kibana, users can create powerful visualizations for their data, share dashboards, and manage the Elastic Stack. So Kibana is used for data visualization and it also provides a very handy search bar which can be used to search your database in Elasticsearch. Now, this diagram shows how a query is executed for retrieval of information behind the scenes in Elasticsearch. After in indexing the data into Elasticsearch, the user writes a query to fetch some data. In the diagram, the user wants to, to check if there is anything in the data that is indexed which matches the person attributed to Jack. After this, the search API is used to understand the query and the search and search for the information in the index and through the same API the result is returned back to the user in JSON format. So the query goes to the API and then that API looks for the uh, query or looks for the match of the person Jack in the index which contains some shards and shards we'll talk about in upcoming slides and then the result is sent back from the same node to a response which is also in JSON format. Now let's look at some basic concepts of Elasticsearch. First is cluster. A cluster is a collection of one or more servers that together hold entire data and give federated in indexing and search capabilities across all servers. For relational databases, the node is DB intense. They can be n nodes with the same cluster name. 
Next is near real time. This is one of the popular features of Elasticsearch. Elasticsearch is a near real time search platform and there is a slide from the time you index a document until it actually becomes searchable. Next is the index. The index is a collection of documents that have similar characteristics. Next comes Node. A node is a single server that holds some data and participates on the cluster indexing and querying. A node can be configured to join a specific cluster by the, by the particular cluster name. A single cluster can have as many nodes as we want. A node is simply one Elasticsearch instance. Next concept is shards. A shard is a subset of documents of an index. So an index can be divided into many shards and this we had seen in the previous slide about the diagram where an index is divided into shard 1 to shard n. Now this was a very quick introduction of what is Elasticsearch, why is it used, what are the drawbacks of using a simple RDBMS and in the next video we will actually download Elasticsearch, set it up on a laptop and see how it works. Thank you.